Hey Scorpio, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How is everybody doing? It's February already. Spring is right around the corner and I cannot wait for spring. <laughs> I am so tired of winter. I cannot wait for spring. So February, the month of love, right? There's been a bunch. It's actually not love. If we all knew what February, what Valentine's Day was really about, it's about fornication. Honestly, that's what it's about. Valentine's Day, look it up, do your research. The root of Valentine's Day is fornication, okay? All right, just saying. So Valentine's Day, the month of love, there's a lot of planetary things going on. I'm not an astrologer. All I can do is parrot what I've read from other people, and you can do that for yourself, right? But there's a lot of things going on in the planets, and um, it's going to be an exciting month. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with it being Valentine's Day or not, but um, it's going to be an exciting month, and I can't wait to read this reading for you. You may see yourself anywhere in this reading. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, and you know what, quite frankly, even if you don't have Scorpio in your chart, you might resonate with this reading, right? Just irritates the hell out of me that all of these readings have to be labeled with a zodiac sign, right? Because any reading can resonate with anybody if it's a general reading, right? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I digress. So, Scorpio, um, you may see yourself anywhere in this reading if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, okay? Maybe it's already happened for you. Maybe you're in the thick of it. Maybe it's about to happen in your life. Anyway, if you need guidance, wisdom, understanding, clarification, confirmation of anything that you see in this reading, you need to get your cards read. Don't make life-altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading. And the cross watchers, right? Don't make a life-altering decision based on what you have been told in a general reading that, that your person is going to do if you're cross watching. Um, it's just general. I just can't stress that enough. Okay, so um, get your cards read. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com, link in the box below. Bazillion good tarot card readers, but be sure you get a good one because it sure will fuck you up if you get a bad one, okay? All right, so what is going on here with you, Scorpio? We have the root cards. As you can see in the camera, right? You can see the cards. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the cards. Um, I have the root spread laid out. I have not put it together yet. I haven't even looked at it, honestly. Um, and we're going to clarify it together and work it out and tell a story about what's happening for the collective of Scorpio in the next, you know, 30 days or so, right? Usually takes a good 30 days. I'm going to say when the, the next energy that Scorpio is stepping into. What is this? What is this next energy that Scorpio is tapping into? All right. So we start out with the six pentacles right here, Scorpio, right? This is a card about giving and receiving. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, there will be an extended reading to this reading. Okay. So we're going to go through this whole reading. I'm not going to jip you. I'm not going to shortchange you. We're going to go through this entire reading. And as we go through it, I'm going to choose something that we're going to focus on in the extended reading. And then I will just keep reading as this video ends. Okay. So there's going to be a link in the box below. You can follow me over. All right. So the six of pentacles, right? This is about giving and receiving um, in a happy relationship home family business it's just the coming together of people to enjoy the abundance that they have it's clarified by the ten of wands in reverse this is about um well it's either about taking on too much or it's about avoiding responsibility and i think it's maybe taking on too much maybe you bit off more than you can choose scorpio i don't know let's see how it goes Let's see how it goes. So the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. The Ten of Wands in reverse, um, taking on too much. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Was I freaking crazy? What was I thinking doing this? That's what that card is telling me. <laughs> Scorpio's like this. I just bit off way more than I anticipated. Way more than I can chew. And uh, what was I even thinking? I don't even know how I made this decision. 
and the six of swords in reverse coming on top of it and talking about way too much water under the bridge way too much baggage um queen of swords in reverse is is angry the withdrawal of emotions um tell me yeah i got the mic on <laughs> tell me what the queen of swords in reverse is talking about right here Spirit, tell me what the Queen of Swords in reverse is talking about right here, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Queen of Swords, death, bringing an end to it. The card of Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Um, the Five of Pentacles, leaving it out in the cold. And the Five of Wands, an increased focus on goals. All right, Scorpio. And I'm going to go back and read this from the top real quick when we're all finished here, okay? So... So these first cards tell me that you were giving and receiving with somebody and enjoying it. And then it became burdensome somehow, some way. The relationship became burdensome. And you literally, with the Knight of Wands in reverse, are saying, what the fuck was I doing? What was I thinking? Right? It's a card about a disregard for consequences. You didn't give it a lot of thought at the time. Well, you're giving it a hell of a lot of thought with the Queen of Swords in reverse right there. You are with withdrawing emotion, stern, emotionless, cutting things out. You're possibly angry. Um, the six of swords in reverse is too much water under the bridge. Too much shit has happened here and I got to go. Okay. It's a card about can't move on also, but that's not what the card is about at all. It's about too much baggage. It's about baggage. It's about a relationship that you have been interacting in. Could be work, could be home, could be family, could be love, whatever. But it's a relationship that you were interacting in that became burdensome. And you were like, no, I don't know what I was thinking. There's way too much baggage here. I got to get out of this relationship. Death, you put an end to it. Dropped the sword. Boom, put an end to it. Five of Pentacles left it out in the coal. And now with the Five of Wands in reverse, you have an increased focus on goals. As I was shuffling, I got some flippers here that came through, right? Queen of Swords, right? Cutting that shit out of your life to the hermit in reverse. This is withdrawal. Withdrawal like only Scorpio can withdraw. This is like ice, ice baby. Ice, ice baby. It's cold, it's cold. But that's what you do, Scorpio. That's what you do. When you decide to break free, you do. You break free. And I think it's a self-defense mechanism, honestly. I think it's with Scorpio in general because um, y'all, your feelings, right? Your water. Feelings, feelings, feelings. And when, it, when you come to the point where you're not willing to um, sacrifice your feelings or be vulnerable in some way to somebody, it's out, out, like a Boy Scout, out. Now you are in the fool energy right here, right? This is a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. So you got rid of that heavy baggage, what the fuck was I doing relationship. And now you have new focus with the fool card. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. Why? Because you're closing that cycle out of your life, okay? You close that cycle out. See, the world is card number 21, right? That is the end cycle. It's the end of the major arcana, and it's the end cycle. You did a self-imposed world card right here, right? You self-imposed an ending to a cycle in your life, which released you into the full energy, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey, a quantum leap following your heart's desire to... <laughs> I didn't even know that world card was behind there. It was behind. I thought it was just the Hierophant. Look at that. The world. An ending. I can't believe that. That's crazy. <laughs> so, <coughs> I'm sorry, Scorpio. The, wor the world, the uh, weather is um, cold and warm, cold and warm, and it just really screws with me. Okay. Brand new beginning, brand new journey, the world card. Closing this cycle out and embarking on a brand new life cycle to the Hierophant in search of commitment, in pursuit of commitment, knowing what it is that you're going to commit to. Um, it is the card of Taurus. Um, interestingly enough, and I'm not saying that you have to be dealing with a Taurus in any way whatsoever, okay? But for those of you who um, 
might be dealing with a Taurus. The reason that I say that is this, because the world card has all fixed signs in it, right? We have Aquarius, we have Scorpio, we have Taurus, and we have Leo, right? Um, so Scorpio, this is a Scorpio reading, so Scorpio as the eagle, um, and, and the other fixed sign, Taurus, right? And then the Hierophant, the card of Taurus, okay? That's the only reason that I put those synchronicities together. It's because we're talking about Scorpio, and Scorpio is intent on committing to something. Hierophant is the card of Taurus, so that's how I put that together, okay? You do not have to be dealing with a Taurus in any way whatsoever. Just wanted to point that out. Everybody out there that's dealing with a Taurus or the Taurus cross watchers are going, yes, yes, Taurus. And the ones who aren't are like, I don't know a Taurus. Don't disregard it. Don't listen to it. Okay. It's um, just an observation. To the Prince of Wands. So Scorpio was taking a new beginning and a new journey, um, closing out a cycle of their life, preparing to commit to something or desiring to commit to something. Prince of Wands taking inspired action to do so. To do what? The Princess of Pentacles. To manifest some kind of new beginning. Strength comes in and talks about um, not needing strength, but having strength. You have, I do believe, been screwing up your strength for a long time. Um, and now that you are out of this uh, shithouse relationship, you are going to move forward and you are going to manifest something into your life. What are you manifesting? Well, down here to the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is a misalignment of values. Broken home, broken relationship. To the Princess of Wands in reverse, which talks about... Um, 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 a lack of motivation, a lack of inspiration, um, frustration, delays, nothing happening. Death in the center of your reading says this whole reading revolves around you putting an end to something and a change. And I want to point out that the tower lies right underneath this death card right here. Okay. So you're going to manifest. We're going to read this from the top again. So you're going to manifest. Okay to the nine of wands um, but you are defensive and hesitant because there was some kind of a breakup because there has been a lack of motivation to do something like this the fool brand new beginning and a brand new journey to the devil um this is okay wait let me just finish to the devil to the ace of swords in reverse um lack of clarity page of swords in reverse um a lack of uh i'll talk no action undelivered promises to the two of cups in a love relationship all right so that's why this breakup happened that's why this breakup happened scorpio um there was um that's why not the breakup that you're doing right now the inspired action that you're going to take is towards a relationship that was that that is broken and there has been no kind of communication happening at all you're defensive and hesitant to the fool to take this new journey to the devil um because of the toxicity of what happened in the past because of the toxicity of this ten of cups in reverse the misalignment of values in the breakup okay that's why you're seeing this from a toxic devil perspective right because something happened that wasn't cool in the past right was not cool with scorpio ace of swords in reverse talks about a lack of clarity to the page of swords in reverse all talk no action so no action being taken at all in the situation y'all aren't even talking in the situation um undelivered promises from the past that caused the breakup that is now being identified as the devil energy to the two of cups in a love relationship so recap as we get to the center of the reading okay Scorpio 
is in a shit relationship and they want out. They're like, what did I do? How did I even end up with all of this baggage in this, this situation where it's just, blah, I just got to get out of it, right? Scorpio goes ice queen, cuts it all off, goes cold, hermit in reverse, right? Then now that that's over, they want to have a new beginning and a new journey. They want to close out the old cycle and begin a new cycle rooted or based in the under the um, desire for commitment with the Hierophant card, okay? Prince of Wands, excitement, enthusiasm, exploration, and discovery, Princess of Pentacles to manifest something new. What do you want to manifest? Well, what you want to manifest is something that was broken in the past before this most recent breakup relationship. Princess of Wands, nothing's been manifested between you for a minute. How do I know that? Defensive and hesitant to take this new journey. Defensive and hesitant to take this new journey because of what happened in the past with the devil. Ace of Swords, a lack of clarity. Page of Swords in reverse. No, no communication. Um, undelivered promises. In a Two of Cups relationship. So boom, death card comes in, right? Transformation, ending, change, transformation. Tell me more about death. Tell me more about death. Oops, these were this way. My bad. Um, Knight of Swords, okay? I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This is um, Scorpio with the death card, your card, in the center of the reading, this entire re reading revolves around a massive, massive change that's going to happen in your life. A self-implemented massive change that's going to happen in your life. Okay? Why do I say self-implemented? Because with the fool, the world, and the hierophant to the prince of wands, this is you taking action. Right? It's you doing it. Okay? Death in the center, change, transformation. This death card is clarified by the Knight of Cups. There is an ending to the old, a transformation of you, and a beginning of the new. You're in touch with your emotions, you're in touch with your intuition, and you're willing to share this with whomever, whomever it is that you're trying to manifest right here with. King of Swords in reverse. This is anger. This is a misuse of power. This is uh, impulsive. To the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of motivation. Why? To the Alchemist and to the Knight of Pentacles. Because it's been so long. Because it's been so long since anything has happened here between you and this prior to this. Let's see. Stuck, slow, looking into the future. The High Priestess. The Alchemist in reverse. Manipulation, untapped talents. The Emperor in reverse. Yeah, look. The Alchemist in reverse to the Emperor in reverse to the, to the Alchemist, the Magician in reverse. Hmm. What is this High Priestess, no less? It's pretty powerful right here. Let me get to the bottom of this, okay? I, as a matter of fact, I feel like I need to use just a different deck of cards. All the way around. All right. There's something deep going on here, Scorpio. Hold on. So the High Priestess, right? In your intuition, in your subconscious mind. Your intuition in your subconscious mind. Death, ending change, transformation, ready to share your feelings. Uh, insecure, angry, insecure, knight of wands in reverse. Angry, insecure, you're probably looking at the top of my head, I'm so sorry. Um, knight of wands in reverse, no, in, no action being taken, delays, frustration, frustration. 
to the Knight of Pentacles, the future, slow, the High Priestess, the Alchemist in reverse, manipulation, untapped talents, poor planning, Oh, look at this. You know what I think this is? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So the Knight of Cups, right? Ready to share. The King of Swords in reverse. I think you're hoping somebody's not angry. That's what I think with the King of Swords in reverse. You're hoping somebody's not angry. And this Knight of Cups is maybe not an apology, but it is a uh, let's bury the hatchet offer. Okay? And I think this King of Swords in reverse right here, I think this is you hoping that they're not angry to the Knight of Wands in reverse because you haven't taken any inspired action towards them yet. And I feel, okay, so we got the whole super soulful thing going on here. We got the Hierophant, the World, the Fool, right? And we have the Devil, the Fool again, the Knight of Cups, and we have the alchemist twice and the emperor, even though they're in reverse and temperance. So I'm feeling that you're hoping that they're not angry with you because you haven't taken inspired action. The knight of pentacles in reverse. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since you have moved towards this person to the high priestess in your subconscious mind and in your intuition trying to figure out how it is that you should go about pursuing something that is in your soul. Yeah, look, the four of wands, right? Structure, foundation, stability, harmony in a relationship, marriage, soulmate. We've got the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Hierophant, soulmate, right? So you are feeling drawn to this person now that you've gotten out of that bad situation and gotten yourself straight somehow and you want to move forward towards this person but you're afraid that they're still angry with you the alchemist in reverse this is manipulation poor planning untapped talents to the emperor in reverse which is he's a jerk the emperor in reverse this is domination control inflexibility To the, to the magician in reverse. The ace of wands in reverse and the star in reverse. Frustration, delays, lack of motivation, lack of faith, despair, lack of trust in yourself, This is crazy. All right. To temperance in reverse, self-healing, the queen of swords, the alchemist, and the wheel in reverse. All talking about making a decision to manifest um, a cycle closure. Right? A cycle closure. So the alchemist in reverse is going to be talking to us about untapped talents untapped talents right so that 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 is scorpio saying there was something that never really got a chance to grow with this person that you're trying to manifest with to the emperor in reverse because scorpio never let it take root so there's somebody that hits you in the gut, Scorp. Somebody hits you in the gut, and it's from your past. It's from before this most current relationship that you're in. And you feel a soulmate 
connection with them and you feel drawn, motivated, and led to reach out and communicate with this person, but you're afraid. You're afraid to take this new journey because of the toxicity that happened in the past, whether it was you or them, doesn't matter. And you're afraid that they're still angry and you want to bring an absolute ending to the situation. You want a transformation of the situation. You're ready to give your feels. You're ready to give your love, but you're afraid that they're still angry because it's taken you so long to reach out to them in your intuition and in your subconscious mind with the high priestess about what it is that you should do. And boom, clarifying card comes out and says four of wands structure stability harmony happiness in a soulmate relationship that's what you should do that's the resolution that you come to in your intuition in your intuition the alchemist in reverse comes in and says that there is untapped talents here there is and uh, this this there are there was never full and utter exploration and discovery of one another for whatever reason i don't know but the emperor in reverse which i also identify with scorpio the emperor for me is half scorpio half aries okay so the emperor in reverse tells me that scorpio was the reason that this never took root or maintained but you've kept this connection you've always had this connection with this person as you go out and explore your options and have one failed relationship after another now you're coming around and saying wow man maybe this person who's been here all this time is who i really need to pay attention to that's what i see happening right here the magician in reverse Again, untapped talents. It's just confirmation of untapped talents, right? To temperance in reverse. Healing and imbalance. The Queen of Swords speaking truth to the alchemist, speaking truth about manifesting the closure of the way things used to be. Ace of Wands in reverse. Feeling really weighed down though, to the star in reverse that this queen of pentacles over here isn't a well no i take that back that's not who we're talking about that this is not going to be reciprocated the queen of pentacles in reverse down here at the bottom this is about this is to the seven of wands in reverse giving up and the tower the nine of wands in reverse being um, despair, no, I'm sorry, hesitancy and self-protection, paranoid to justice. Two of cups in reverse to the nine of swords. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. The tower. Tell me about this tower, please. Giving and receiving with the Six of Pentacles. And now at a crossroads. And tell me more about the tower, please. I, I actually want to use this deck. <laughs> tell me more about the tower, please. I forget that I'm on camera. I'm sorry. Okay, the Prince of Cups in reverse. So this, okay, so there was, okay, creation, a lack of creation, a tower moment. Okay, the two of swords at the crossroads, or indecision, confusion. Tell me, why is there the crossroads, the indecision, the confusion to the nine of wands in reverse with hesitancy and paranoia, defensiveness? Yep, three of swords, because there was heartbreak. Okay, I understand what this is about. So what's happening here? is this is what's happening up here okay this little chunk right here is telling us deeper what happened right here what happened right here is what happened right here is it's explaining the tower moment okay it's explaining um how this shook down up here okay so got the queen of wands this is somebody who holds title in your life 
up to this point. This person holds title, okay? Hold on. Justice. Okay, this is one of two things. Okay, I'm going to read this two different ways. So, as I was saying, let's 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 do it this way. Okay, let's do it this way. So, this Queen of Pentacles is who you just broke up with or are trying to break up with right here, okay? This is somebody that holds title in your life. That's who you're trying to break up with. The seven of wands in reverse, right? Giving it up, giving up on it to the tower because of some kind of tower moment to the nine of wands that made you not want to, to be in this situation anymore. What's the situation? Two of cups in reverse. There's an imbalance in a love relationship. Nine of swords, despair and anxiety, painful lesson. This relationship up here is the painful lesson, right? An imbalance in a two of cups relationship. Prince of cups in reverse, unrealistic to, to share emotions anymore. Six of pentacles. We used to give and receive two of swords, but now I'm not so sure to the three of swords because of heartbreak, sorrow, grief, and pain. That's the tower moment. That's what makes you paranoid, hesitant, ah, oh, hell no, guarding um, kind of energy with the nine of wands. Or, or, second scenario, or, this is explaining what happened here in the ten of cups, the breakup right here of the person that you now want to go back and be with that that you're now saying you've been here all along i i see the light okay this could be all vice versa right this is a general reading i am sequestered to if ands and buts if this was your reading we could go who what where when why and how so it could be switched right so the queen of pentacles this is that person she used to hold title in your life she because it's a queen okay there's no vaginas and penises in the tarot card readings it's all energy we are all energy okay so the queen of pentacles she she um to the seven of wands in reverse she gave up she gave up caused a tower moment this tower moment has caused you to be defensive and hesitant this whole time. Because remember back here, you're worried that they're going to be angry with you because you haven't taken any action towards them up till now. Two of Cups, that's what happened to your relationship. There was some kind of ending or breakup. Nine of Swords, um, and, and it caused you a lot of despair to the Prince of Cups in reverse. It hit you in your feelings really, really, really hard. Six of Pentacles, because you were give, giving and receiving and getting along so well, and then boom, confusion, right? Because of, of heartbreak in the tower moment. So take it how it goes. I just see it being two different ways. The tower, nevertheless, okay? Nevertheless, there's a huge boom in your life which caused you to be defensive and hesitant and paranoid to participate at all. Either situation, either scenario, justice comes in and talks about wanting to bring justice to the three of swords, to heartbreak, wanting to bring justice to the ten of swords, to an ending, justice, to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of motivation, a lack of, of desire. So justice to the Three of Swords, to the Ten of Swords, to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Justice being Major Arcana saying this is the way that it's supposed to be. This is the way, this is justice. Tell me about these four cards right here, Spirit. Tell me about these four cards. You have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a massive loss, a massive breakup. Why is it justice? Oh, it's your justice, Scorpio, because you're telling your truth. 
that's your justice you're bringing justice to your life you're being true to yourself scorpio you are you are being true to yourself this whole reading is really about you being true to yourself and understanding that there is something that you have a heart tie to and you are going to pursue it and this breakup up here is you speaking your truth and you being justified you're throwing the swords with the three of swords and the ten of swords you're killing shit all over the place eight of pentacles in reverse lack of ambition lack of ambition to continue with this relationship up here the very top ten of pentacles in reverse loss by see ya eight of wands an absolute energetic shift in your life an energetic shift in your life um this is also communication communicating to this person that you want to go to communicating to them about the loss between the two of you and possibly telling them about how this relationship is now over but you're communicating about a loss okay to the star card in reverse the star in reverse is to the five of wands in reverse the star in reverse is about despair despair it's about despair and that's what you're communicating your despair about the huge loss of this significant person in your life that you're trying to go towards once you leave this weird relationship over here five of wands in reverse this is an increased focus on goals what's your goal the six of cups reuniting and reconciling with this person that you have such this this soul connection with nine of pentacles right bringing things to a culmination king of cups telling your feelings judgment making a decision that you want an absolute rebirth in this situation prince of swords in reverse with a disregard for consequences to the five of pentacles in reverse because you find yourself being in a state of spiritual poverty denying the connection between you and this person that never had a chance to bloom this person that you never had a chance to explore and discover with you are coming back and saying you know what let's do this let's freaking do this i can't get you off my mind i've been through relationship and relationship and you are still on my mind i still think about you i still have this pull towards you so you know what disregard for consequences let the cards fall where they may let's explore this once and for all and see what this pull that i have towards you is i want to put it to an end once and for all and that's what you're doing two pentacles right that's what you're doing you're prioritizing this you're balancing this out you are you want to genuinely see scorpio um <coughs> sorry had a coughing attack you want to genuinely see scorpio if there is a potential because you've been connected to this you've been connected to him for a long time and um you uh you, you're, you're gonna explore it so anyway that's your reading okay that's your reading let's see what would the extended reading be about i guess the only logical place to go is to look into this and see how this person feels about you i think that's the most logical thing to do so yeah so there will be a link in the box below and i'm just going to keep reading and uh, let's talk about um, how this person feels about you let's talk about how they might reciprocate or might not reciprocate and uh, let's see who this person is 
and um, if it is something that you genuinely um, want to move forward with. Okay, Scorpio, let's do that. I'll meet you on the flip side, okay? The after party.